In this afternoon, we are treating a topic called plane geometry 1. And under plane geometry 1, it consists of angles and polygons. And I have already taught polygons. So today, I want us to treat a brief introduction of angles and also types of angles. Now, how do we mean when we say angles? Angles are formed when two straight lines meet at a point. This is my two straight lines. So this is where they are meeting. An angle is formed here. This is theta. So this is our angle. If you remember, when I was treating polygon, I said a polygon is formed when three or more straight lines meet at a point. Three or more straight lines. So this is a polygon. So understand the difference between angle and polygon. Because angles are formed when two straight lines meet at a point. You can say angles are formed when three straight lines meet at a point. Once you say that you are describing a polygon. So the instrument for measuring angle is called protractor. And angles are measured in degrees. Degrees. The symbol for degree sign is this. Our symbol for degree sign is this. So examples of angles, we have 80 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees. Please always do not forget to bring your degree sign. It's very, very important. Because under angles, if you are writing your final answer, or if you are showing working, you should bring your degree sign. Other than that, the examiner will mark you wrong. And angles are represented in three main ways. Either they write this angle A, B, C, or they use this, or this. Angles are represented in three ways. One, this means the letter in the middle is where the angle is located. So, if I give you A, B, C, this means that this is the angle. This is the angle we are talking of. So, angle A, B, C. Angle A, D, C. We are talking of angle D. So, I believe we've understood the concept of angles. Now, let us move on to the types of angles. These are the types of angles. We have right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle, reflex angle, angles on a straight line. We have the supplementary angle, complementary angle, and many more. Now, there are other types of angles in a parallel line. That point, we will get vertically opposite angles, co-interior angles, alternate angles, corresponding angles, and many more. But, basically, I want to talk on these angles first. So, when we say right angle, right angle is an angle equal to 90 degrees. It's an angle equal to 90 degrees degrees and this is the symbol for right angle so this is 90 degrees this is a right angle acute angle acute angle is an angle less than 90 degrees so always always when i'm teaching angle i start from right angle because once you know right angle you know acute angle obtuse angle easier once right angle is an angle equal to 90 degrees acute angle becomes simple so acute angle is an angle less than 90 degrees you see we are having right angle like this this means this is our 90 degrees once you want to know acute angle we draw a line like this so this means this angle is an acute angle because it is less than 90 
big width. This is our right angle, and this is acute angle. So this is acute angle. So if I give you something like this, A, O, B, this means angle A, O, B is equal to acute angle. So I have now showed you how to get acute angle from a right angle. Because once right angle is an angle equal to 90 degrees, acute angle in mathematics is an angle less than 90 degrees. And this is acute angle. So in an objective, they can ask you, an angle that is less than 90 degrees is called A, reflex angle, B, acute angle, C, obtuse angle, D, right angle, and you are supposed to choose acute angle. Now, the third angle is obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. When we talk of obtuse angle, it's an angle greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. It's greater than 90 degrees, but less than what? 180 degrees. Decrease. I'll use the same right angle to explain obtuse angle. You see, we have this as 90 degrees. And we know once we draw this, it is a straight line. That angles on a straight line. This means this total angle would add up to what? 180 degrees. But they are saying obtuse angle is an angle greater than 90 degrees but less than what? 180 degrees. So this time, this means our arrow will go this way. It's less than what? 180 degrees. It's not on the straight line. So this is an obtuse angle. This whole angle. This whole angle. From this point to this point. So we have our obtuse angle. So let me draw it well. Let me draw my obtuse angle well. This is my obtuse angle. C O D angle C O D is our obtuse angle. Let's move on to the fourth angle, which is reflex angle. And when we talk of reflex angle, it's an angle greater than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. Good. Reflex angle. Is greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. And this is a reflex angle. This is a reflex angle. Reflex angle. So C O M. This means angle C O M. It's a reflex angle. Equal to reflex. So let's move on to adjacent angle. Adjacent angle. And this angle students normally find the definition difficult. Castro will make it simple. Two angles are said to be adjacent. If they have a common arm, a common vertex, and if two non-common arms are opposite the common arm. I repeat it again. Two angles are said to be adjacent if it has a common arm, a common vertex and its two non-common arms are opposite its common arm. Let me use diagram to illustrate this. So 
So this is our two non-common arms. Two non-common arms. O, A, B. These are non-common arms. O, A. O, A is non-common non-common arm. O, B is also non-common arm. O is vertex. You see, they are having same vertex. O, A, and O, B. They all have this vertex. That's O. And this is a common arm. I draw my common arm. O, C. O, C is the common arm. So as I explained it, I said two angles are said to be adjacent if they have a common vertex. You see, they are all having this vertex. And also, they have a common arm. This is the common arm because OA and OB, they have this arm. And the two non-common arms are at the opposite side of the common arm. So, this is our adjacent angle. Angle OAOC. Angle A. O C and angle C O B are adjacent angles. So A O B, A O C and C O B they are adjacent angles. And always note that adjacent angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. I repeat. Adjacent angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if I give you something like this, you see, this is on a straight line. B, C. So these angles add up to 180 degrees. That's adjacent angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Let's move on to straight angle. Straight angle. Straight angle is an angle that is equal to 180 degrees. And this one, I will use a straight line to illustrate it. This is a straight angle. Straight angle is an angle equal to 180 degrees. This is a semi circle. Let's move on to angles at a point. And angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. Please take note of the values I have mentioned. Right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Straight angle is an angle equal to 180 degrees. And angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So this is angles at a point. Angles at a point. You see this is a point. They are meeting at this point. This means A This means A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 360 degrees because it's a principle in math that we can violate it. Angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. This one, it can be printed like this. It can be like this. X. They can be plenty. So x plus x plus x. So you keep on adding them. Once you sum this up, it must be equal to what? 360 degrees because it's angles at a point. Let's move on to complementary angles. And when we say complementary angles, two angles are said to be complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. I repeat. Two angles are said to be complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. So like taking A and B, this means A plus B to give us 90 degrees. That's complementary angle. Complementary angle. So if I give you one angle as 40 and I say find the complement. This means 
The other angle will be what? 50 degrees. I will take more examples. But this session, I want you to understand the definition for specific types of angles. Let's move on to supplementary angle. Two angles are said to be supplementary if they add up to 180 degrees. So know the difference between complementary and supplementary. Students normally interchange them. Cool. So complementary add up to 90 degrees and supplementary angle also add up to what? 180 degrees. This means C plus D will give us 180 degrees. Supplementary angle. So we've done introduction of angles and also we now know the definition and explanation for certain types of angles. In our next session, we will start with basic calculation using these angles. Like when we take right angle, we have some calculations for it. Complementary angles to supplementary angles, we have calculations for it. Angles at the point straight angle, adjacent angle, we have calculations for them. So I just wanted you to know a brief introduction and types of angles. Thank you and have a nice day.